need that controller. Can't play a game. That's goes without saying. I think you and I are the only two people playing this game at this hour in the morning. So might just be me and you. Of course, you know it's international waters. Anything's legal. Got single deck blackjack out there for Christ's sake. It's crazy. I actually played single deck blackjack in Vegas, which is very strange because I thought they run you out of town for that. Did okay. If you were wondering. Wasn't actually... Yeah, no games. This seems bad. This seems bad. Nobody's out there. Is anybody out there? These people working on this thing this early is weird. It's crazy. I mean, it never would have woke me up. Oh, it's up already. But they're freaking building man they're building a whole civilization outside my door like immediately across the street from my apartment complex they're building like a whole world so it was a field like a week ago and now it is like the frame of like 95 houses like they're building the shit out of this area oh, okay that is a sliver hopefully that's what this guy's playing i wouldn't mind beating slivers again what the fuck is this hand what the fuck is this hand this is weird as shit. I can't keep that. What kind of weird ass garbage are you trying to pull? I've got shock open, man. That seems okay. Etchy C in Rusty Row. I love Etchy C, man. He's the best. He's the guy. Shit. This day might not be going too poorly after all. It's crazy. Crazy times. I still got to record. I got pretty much everything else done for it, but I still got to record for my app review of the week, which doesn't have me like jumping up and down by any stretch of the imagination because it's usually done by now and up, but it's neither of those things today. What do I want to do here? Just do this. Fight mechanic. And then next turn I have him and... Yeah, oh, I don't know about that. He could gank this 2-2, two -two and I'm going to be like real upset. I'm going to look at him, and I'm going to be like, frown. He'll be like, yeah, yeah, I know. That is another 3-3, three -three, dude. You have two of them now. That's like a 6-6. Six -six. You got it. Actually, you know, he's got so much shit that tramples, I almost just want to block this. I've got 5-5 five five out on the field, though, and I get to punch for 2 this turn because he can't block it. Well, there you go. That seems okay. I could not lay that fast enough. 2 damage. You are at 18. I have a 5-5. Five five. Does that have instant speed pump? I don't think it does. It just has... Or maybe there's, like, one giant growth in the whole pile. Maybe. I have no idea. Though... So I'm not sure. Don't know what to tell you. Fangren, I'm gonna f -f 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 fire. I don't know what I was trying to do there, but I'm gonna burn the fuck out of that thing. That's what we're. That's what I'm getting at. Land, you dicks, you big hairy dicks. Um. Shit, I don't even know. I think I. I think I attack. I'm gonna attack. I don't care. What are you doing? You blocking? Seven damage is a lot. Yeah, double block. Okay. I'm cool with that. I would, see, I wish I would have drawn the land. Why would I burn my own dude? Get your head out of your ass, game. You kooky. You kooky guy, you. Well, that sucks dick. I have really blows. <laughs> oh no. That's rough stuff right there. Oh, I'm tearing up. I really don't like that. <laughs> Sucks. Alright, there she is. There she is. That's the gale. Oh, uh, if a creature you did, 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 did creature or player. Oh, that's good that it's both. 
That seems good. Because he's got way to turn to do his shit, but now I don't anymore. Yeah, I can't attack with that thing, though. That makes me really upset. Because then I can't attack when it does two damage instead of just one. Because I would lose my, my thing. So I can play this and then Concussive Bolt and win. Can I just Concussive Bolt and win? Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, wait. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So no, right? Hold on, guys. Let's... There's, th okay, so there's three right here, two of it's tapped. There's three damage here, three and five is eight. It's eight all day, okay? And then eight and four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve is twelve. And this gentleman has fourteen life. Uh, so I can't, I can't do that. Don't play the fuck out gratuitous violence, so Hey, thank you. Yep, I'll set that down now. Whoa! Holy shit! That is gratuitous. I'll tell you that right now. I'm attacking with both of these guys. Three, four, five. He double blocks me. I'll just do four damage to him and kill him next turn with the concussive bolt. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. It's your turn. I can't be stupid. I don't want to be dumb. This guy alone does 10. You just gotta stroll across the field. What's happening? I'm punching you. Ugh. Gratuitous. Told you the mana worked out right. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Because you can't block. You can't block. I've been so obnoxious lately. I don't even know why. Because of Bolt, that guy. You are concussed, sir. I don't even have to worry about the imaginary fog that doesn't exist in that pile. Don't even have to worry about it because he tapped out. You took a bunch right there, man. You took it on the nose. Took it on the chin. This is not good. That was great. Actually, that was awesome. Drawing lands right on time. Doing stuff right on time. Find another opponent right on time. Probably not, actually. It's just like, it's just me out here in the world. It's, I feel like it's 5 a.m. everywhere. Bum, 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 playing Warsmith. Warsmith only lost like twice this week. Once this week? Did losing the thing I'm going to put up Friday? Probably not, right? Because why would I have saved it for Friday? <laughs> that seems dumb. If you sit there and be like, this is a great loss. I'm going to put that up Friday. That make me sense. All right, let's see if this guy can give us their second loss of the week. Warsmith coming on out, saying, how do you do? My name's Warsmith. Fuck, I love this hand, but I hate this hand. What am I going to draw, you guys? This dick plays first. Dick Chesney. I really want to pitch it. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. This is actually not that good. <laughs> Should have kept the other one. Especially since he's the dude where if I target stuff, it dies. Fucking sucks. That means that I could cast that for zero, though, and just nugget him. Well, not in his face, but just kill something. Oh, God, because I could have just looked at two things, and they would have burst into flames and death. It would have been awesome. Hey, Leon and Sun Standard. Uh, counter, though? Counter spell? What the fuck deck are you playing, dude? Okay, cool. <laughs> Works for me. Works for me. Maybe I'll do black. Blue. I was thinking black, red. This red's fun. Because then you have, like, removal and stuff. You have removal in black, too, by the way. Uh, what the fuck are you doing over there, dude? Do? What do I want sculpting steel? Any fuck? God damn it. Game, you're a piece of shit. I don't want to steal anything. How about we give you another one of those then? Eh? I hear you really love sculpting steel. I'm gonna play these two dudes. Two bros. Five damage is a shit ton. If he plays that guy next turn, I can't target it. This sucks balls though. 
It sucks all the balls in the world. Because <laughs> I don't gain the life. I want to take that to his face. Why can't I have five land outs so I could play my spear? Because if he has the one two drop guy, I'm fucked right now. <sighs> Playing around stuff that doesn't even, not even gonna fucking happen. Idiot. Four damage. Jesus. What am I doing over here, you guys? Just got it just got real serious here. It just got real serious over here. So I feel like garbage after that. I knew I fucking knew I'm so good at this game! I'm the fucking best! Holy shit! I'm so good at this. All right, now I gotta, th I gotta fucking think about things though. Cause now I'm in trouble. Cause now I'm in trouble. Spear's real good. But then he can just, he's got bounce is really the only thing he could have. I am war leader's helix at two, two and make his guys a three, three. And then I can maybe surprise him after I get it equipped up with the spear, which is going to take a really long time. But I can only make my guys three threes right now, and he knows that. So that's almost useless. I'm just going to play the spear. He's going to bash me. It's his turn to hit me for four next turn. I'm the one who's hitting you for four. And I'll be like, yeah, you are. That thing will have been a 7-7, seven, seven, punching me in the goddamn nuts. God. Man, I knew it. Pablo, I got your number. Hit what the fuck are you doing? You have unsummon in hand? Or what? Why are you doing this right now? Cause he has unsummon? Cause he has unsummon? Whatever, it's two damage. I'll let you do it to me. It's not worth it if you got the unsummon. You're gonna do it when I go to play this spear though. Just gonna make me really upset. So I could try and equip Spear, which is not going to happen. I'm going to get unsummoned. I could Leonin for eight. And take him to eight. Pop this once. I really hope this guy didn't just trick me into thinking he had the spear when he doesn't. Or thinking he has the unsummon when he doesn't. I'm going to keep my helix open. Because it's possible that I can just kill him. If I get to helix, it's possible I get to just kill him. Except that he has the unsummon. And he's always going to have that on summon. Okay, that's interesting. I'm just thinking, because he's got that unsummon, so he's going to be able to do six damage to me. So I'm going to attack with just that guy. Make an angel. He'll unsummon the angel. I'll block down the 4-4 four four with my 1-1 one one guy. He can block this, but I don't take any damage because of Dolmen Gate, which was actually a sick rip. 
your turn. What do we got going on here? Nothing good. Nothing good. Scolding Steel doesn't do shit for me right now. Both Sculpting Steels in hand is just like, with nothing to play them on, is crazy. Like, I hardly ever see that. Where's my 5-5 five, five guy? Holy bloody hell, dude. What is going on here? What well, can he make this, an 8-8? Eight, eight? So that's 10? Wait. He's just going to unsummon that guy. But that's 8, 9, 10. I'm at 12. Unsummon it later? What are you doing, bud? I don't like that. Don't like that either. <sighs> How many unsummons does he have? I attack for five. I would have to tap down... That's five. That's seven. That's eight. Well, that's nine right there. Unsummon the six, six. Oh, nice. It's not even unsummon. So I can only do seven. <sighs> to get what? Oh, Ovenize? Damn it. Is he blocking? He's at six. Oh, what am I doing about this? Because it seems shitty. Damn it. Two cards in hand. Didn't see the Ovenize coming, mostly because it's kind of a terrible card. As you saw there, I still got my plus one, plus one bonuses, so they weren't O ones, uh, which is something that that card never, ever, ever takes into account, and that's what makes it not the best. Is he not attacking here? Because I'll keep making angels all day. And hopefully I get to lay a 5-5 five five down at some point. Because I'd lay a 5-5 five five and then I would sculpting steal the shit out of it. That's for sure. Unsummon? So that would suck. Land. Combat step. Unsummon wins him the game here. Well, I have to block it. But that's really weird because now I can attack with that other angel, which means he has to have unsummon at this point. Like for sure.
Oh shit. What am I doing with my life? That's six damage in the air. Do you have the unsummon or what? Did you just not think about the fact that I could pump? Awesome. Awesome. That was great. Because then I even had the surprise in my hand where I just would have been like, hey, guess what? Couple dudes. What's happening? Hey, what's happening? What's cracking? Not much. How you doing? See you later. Um, this deck ran, this deck's fucking great, to be honest with you. It's a really good deck. It's, well, I'm talking like it's Friday, because I already shot the Friday one. Uh, it's a good deck. It's real good. Just one more time, just for everyone's edification, the reason why, I was asked specifically why this isn't Jor. The reason I leave Jor out, which, which I talked about before, is that, that, like, they haven't killed anything yet. Like, they had, like, especially against that zombie deck, there's no way that Jor would have lived past, like, two and a half seconds. They're not killing Mere Sires with their removal. They can't remove Etch Champion if you're playing him right. Sculpting, so at the most, that late in the game, and I have a really long, uh, lengthy, typed out with, like, the percentages. I don't know if I actually wrote the percentages down or anything, because um, people don't like when you start mathing. But uh, at most, at that point in the game... When you'd be laying this guy, I would have one of these guys out, maybe two of these guys out. In most of the good decks, especially that zombie deck, it has the removal to take care of that uh, capacity. It has the capacity to take care of that. Now, that takes into account if my opponent's good enough to play around that guy, and that's completely besides the point, you know what I mean? But if my opponent's not good enough to think that Jor is coming, then I'm probably going to beat him anyway. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's just one of those things. It's just a design philosophy, I guess, when I build decks. Um that's just how I look at it. Statistically speaking, my opponent has to have removal in their hand. Now, whether or not they ha are able to cast it the turn Jor comes out, now that completely is neither here nor there, really, when you think about it. Uh, because that's the skill level of your opponent. You can't really do anything about that. I plan for my opponent being the absolute best that they can be. It's like a, a something that somebody told me a long time ago, and I'm probably going to get it wrong, uh, but they said to me to... Always know, and I saw, it was something like, always know that you're the smartest person in the room, but think that everybody else is smarter than you. Uh, and it's a thing about confidence. You have to act with confidence when you're making plays and doing stuff like, you know, calling what your opponent has in their hand. You have to be confident enough to do that, and that's the part where you know you're the smartest person in the room. And then the other part is thinking everyone is smarter than you because it's going to cause you to work that much harder and plan that much farther ahead because if you think that everyone else is one step ahead of you then you're going to be two steps ahead of them in the long run so i always think all my opponents are better than me generally as a rule because that makes you play better um and that's how i build my decks and this is a fantastic deck uh it's really good it's a lot of fun to play too it's very tricky you've got a lot of burn you've got a lot of good removal um You've got guys that they don't view as threats, and the thing that people don't understand is that once they come down, they become that metal craft fodder, and that's just what you need. And the two guys show up when you need them. I mean, it's it's a good deck. We didn't get to see Unwilling Recruit. It won one game for me in playtesting, but it wasn't really worth watching. Uh, that is a question mark. Unwilling, Unwilling Recruit is, as I said before, you could take that out and put in whatever you wanted, I would strongly advise against putting in Jor because they will always have something to kill it. Um, but you could put in, you know, anything. You could put in, like, Druid Sack or something like that, which actually I, I don't think I would do either. But uh, whatever, you guys. That was Warsmith. I hope you guys had a good week. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. I, there is an episode up tomorrow. It's just already shot. I have to add commentary to it. Um, it's just a really fun deck. Uh, please check out my, I have a new review up of a game called Squareland. It was not very good. <laughs> um, and that's why the review was so late coming up because I was kind of stressed about doing a negative review because I don't do that a lot. But I painted myself into a corner because I didn't have a backup game to play. <laughs> so I just kind of had to drop the axe a little bit on Squareland. I also have two Let's Plays going now. You've got Shovel Knight and 1001 Spikes. 1001 Spikes is updated Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Be sure to check that out. And of course, uh, Shovel Knight's every single day. 
that I'm doing that one. Because I thought it would be kind of a shorter game than it is. I thought I'd be done with it rather quickly. That's one Spikes is going to take a long time with the three-day schedule, but whatever. That's all at the Technovolver channel. You can check that out by hitting the link in the description down below as well. For more deck techs and stuff like this, be sure to subscribe to this channel. We'll, of course, be doing all-day coverage of the new release of the game. I'll be putting up is always a very hectic time. I will be putting up new videos constantly that day. So definitely subscribe to this channel if you haven't to watch that stuff. And subscribe to my other channel too for more app reviews and cool Let's Plays and stuff like that. Even if you don't though, I want to thank you for checking out this video. So thanks again and I will see you guys all on the morrow.